That's Amy. Hey everybody, Lois Threlkel, Ladies of Justice League.com. We are lucky here to have the amazing Amy Yoshimitsu, who is a savant at land trust. You, you're gonna love this. So, Amy, what is a land trust? Land trust is just a grantor revocable living trust. It allows you to be more anonymous. So basically, if you have any assets, personal belonging, it's something that you can put into it rather than having your name made public. So potential losses, claims, whatever else, it's easier or it's better for you to protect your assets that way than putting in an LLC or your name, of course. So basically... And who, who would benefit by doing a land trust? Anybody who wants to protect their assets. So obviously, for sure, the real estate investor who has a property but you can also do a type of personal property trust too to help kind of uh, protect your assets from boats, jewelry, valuable paintings, or other things that are all value. You can put in there as well. And fabulous. When would somebody create a land trust? You can create a land trust anytime before you acquire these properties and stuff like that. So basically, if you want to buy a property, you would title it into your land trust so you don't have to change it from your name or anything into the land trust because that's sort of a trail. You have their land trust first and basically when you buy your property, you can title it into that land trust. Fantastic. And then we'll have to talk about this more so we can actually so, hear a little bit better. So can I ask part you something? two, we can discuss more. Okay. I just wanted to ask you one more thing. Is that okay? Where can you do this land trust thing? Is it in certain states or is it all over? Is there a... You can do a land trust in any state. started out in Chicago, actually, but any state can do a land trust. What's recommended is Virginia land trust for sure because of its more strict privacy things. Um, but then you need a Virginia trustee. So unless you know somebody you trust to be a trustee, Probably the next one is going to be a Florida land trust. But, and then your trustee can be anywhere. Obviously, you don't want your trustee in the same city, state, street, or location of your property. Make sure they're from another state or at least another county of sorts. Um, the main purpose of the land trust is just to make it less visible or available to frivolous lawsuits and stuff because it provides another layer of protection or anonymity. So think about if you're in a famous lawsuit, they might have to sue you in three different states. One, where the property is located. Two, where the land trust is formulated. And three, where your trustee is located. So anybody who's not having enough funds or a lawyer who wants to pursue it that far, that's a lot of money up front. So it doesn't necessarily protect you, you know, ironclad from any lawsuit, but really the frivolous ones that you know people can easily find you for their reason, because they think you have big money, then basically it, it provides, like I said, another layer of anonymity and protection. And you can use it for estate planning as well, because you can designate your, your beneficiaries in that land trust too. Wow. Okay. Thank you so much, Amy, for your time. And uh, we'll... Stay tuned for part two of Land Trust with Amy. <laughs> we have a new thing, Land Trust with Amy. Okay, Lois Throw Kel, Amy Yoshibitsu. <laughs> and remember to uh, comment, like, go ahead and share this video. People need to know about Land Trust and subscribe. Talk soon. Take care. Bye, Amy. Thank you.